Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the best masculine hobbies that you can do. When you start developing these traits, one thing that you're gonna notice is that you're gonna become stronger in every area of your life. You're gonna become stronger physically, spiritually, and mentally. And also, you're going to be attracting a lot of women because women are naturally attracted to men that have this high masculine energy, high masculine aura to themselves and they're just naturally subconsciously going to be attracted to you. The very first thing is to lift weights. I talk about this a lot in different videos. Lifting weights is the most masculine thing that you can possibly do. When you start lifting weights, you're gonna become stronger, you're gonna have more muscles, reduce your body fat, your body's gonna look a lot better. The second thing is that it's also gonna increase your testosterone. This is something that we don't talk a lot about, but testosterone is the main hormone for men. When you have a lot high levels of testosterone, it's like your superpower. It's a, a natural way to feel better throughout the day, have high energy levels, have a, a better sex life because you have a, a higher increased libido. Also, subconsciously, women can naturally detect men that have higher levels of testosterone. So testosterone is that number one hormone that you always want to preserve, protect, and you want to grow. And lifting weights is the best way to do that. As men, we naturally respect other men that are strong. If you see a, another guy at the gym that's very, you know, he's jacked and he's lifting heavy weight, you just automatically respect them. Stronger men command more respect from other men and from women. The second thing is to learn how to fight. Every society from the beginning of time had to learn how to fight. You look at the Spartans, when they were kids, at the age of six, seven, they were taken away from their mother and they were taught how to hunt, how to fight, how to do these masculine traits ever, ever since they were boys. We don't have that nowadays. Nowadays, you actually have to go out, sign up for an MMA gym, sign up for a boxing gym, whatever, and learn how to fight. Learning how to fight breeds a different type of confidence because now you know how to defend yourself, your family, and everything that you possess. You have a, a skill that anywhere that you go, you know how to defend yourself. One thing that I noticed here in the West, especially here in America, is that guys or people want to rely a lot on law enforcement. We have it so good here in this first world nation that we don't really have to worry about you know an attacker coming up, a perpetrator trying to attack you and harm you or your family. All you have to do is call 911 and, and you have you know law enforcement at your door. But if you travel anywhere, I used to go to Mexico a lot in the summers when I was a kid, there's no law enforcement over there. You have to learn how to defend yourself. And if you don't know how to defend yourself, people will take advantage of it. As a kid, they will bully you. As you're an adult, they will also bully you. You can get sucker punched and somebody can steal your, your items, your, your belongings, your possessions. If you don't have guns, you don't have any weapon, you know how to use these hands. These hands become weapons at that point. You got your elbows, you got your knees, your legs, your shins, your head. You have your mouth if you need to at that point, but you, you have to learn how to use your body as a weapon because in those situations where you do need to defend yourself, it is very important that you know exactly what you're doing. So the next masculine trait is to learn to fall in love with reading. Reading is one of the best things that anyone can do, but it's very important for men because as men, we have to be the leaders of our household. We have to develop intellectually and spiritually, and the best way that you can do that is by reading. Reading is going to open up a whole nother world to you. The more that you read, the smarter you get, the more, that, the more money you can earn, the better, the better choices that you can make. Um, reading is one of the best things that you can do. There's a, there's a great quote, man. There's a great quote. There's no advantage to the man that can read but doesn't read compared to the man that doesn't know how to read. So that, that's, that's saying that if you compare a man that doesn't know how to read to a man that knows how to read but doesn't read, they're, they're in the same playing field. There's nothing, there's no advantage to either, either or. But the guy that knows how to read, he, he starts to level up in, in different areas of his life because he's exposed to more information, more knowledge from authors that, ha that know a lot more about a certain subject than you do. One thing that I invite you to do is try to read like 10 minutes a day. Just anything that, that you're interested in. Start off with 10 minutes a day, then maybe increase it to 15 minutes, then 20 minutes, and then 30 minutes. I like to read around 30 minutes a day, and it's usually at the beginning of the day, when I start off the day, and then at the end of the day. 
And some of the, the one great book that I'm reading right now is uh, Blue Ocean Strategy. And that's a, a book about business, how to identify different markets that are blue oceans where there's opportunity as opposed to going into an industry where it's a, a red ocean where there is a limited amount of opportunity in that market. There's so much competition that it becomes a bloody red ocean. So that's one of the books that I'm reading right now. I'm also trying to read more of the, the Holy Bible and I'm trying to become more spiritual. I'm actually trying to understand the Bible a lot more. If you need any recommendations of books, go ahead and check out my website, conquermindset.com. I'll put it in the link below. And there I have a great list of books that you can read, you can start reading. And I break it down by business, by personal finance, by philosophy, entrepreneurship, whatever you're interested in, I have a good book that you can check out down there. So the fourth thing is to learn how to cook. Learning how to cook is, crucial. When I moved out from my parents and I started to live by myself, I had to learn how to cook. If you're trying to build a stronger body, a stronger mind, you have to learn how to cook good nutrients. You're using the food that you're cooking for fuel instead of using it for like an emotional distress. Never eat out of emotion. Always eat your food for fuel to fuel your workouts, to fuel your mind, fuel your day. That's why cooking is very important because now you know exactly what's going into the foods that you're cooking. A lot of women also love guys that know how to cook because if you know how to cook, you know how to take care of yourself. It's a, it's a sign of independence, especially if you know how to grill. Uh, guys that know how to grill can make different kinds of meats. You can make different, you know, high protein rich meals. You don't have to go out and spend money on fast food, junk food that is not going to really serve your body, serve the purpose of your mission. You're making foods that are gonna make your body stronger and your mind stronger. All right, so the fifth one's a bit different, but it's very important and it's very crucial for every man. And that is to practice a religion. Practice some type of spiritual religion, philosophy, anything. Something that's gonna help you spiritually in those tough times, or it's gonna give you a good guideline for your morals, your values, and your vision for your future. There's a lot of controversy around religion. I grew up Catholic, but as a kid, I don't remember going to church that much. My mom would try to go to take us to church every Sunday, but we, didn't, we, we, we stopped kind of going when I was like around 14, 15. And I didn't really understand religion at that time. I didn't understand what was the purpose of it. I thought, you know, I had a lot of different views. Like I thought that the church was corrupt. I thought that th there wasn't much benefit of going to the church on Sundays. But one thing that I've learned as I've gotten older and wiser is that religion is a great way to develop better morals and values for your life. For example, like in, in Catholicism, Catholicism, what it teaches you is to not steal, invest into your family, grow a strong family. It teaches you great morals when you really dive into what the, the Bible is trying to teach you. It doesn't have to be Catholicism. It doesn't have to be Christianity. It can be Hinduism. It can be Buddhism. Islam is one of the religions that I admire also. I think Islam creates very strong men, very strong masculine men with strong values and morals. But, you know, I'm happy being Catholic. I like it. I like the, the morals that it teaches. I also like philosophy, like Stoicism, Zen Buddhism. Uh, you can look into these philosophies, but having a nice philosophy, a religion, will keep you grounded, it'll keep your values on point, it'll keep your morals to a higher level, higher degree of dignity. Expressing that gratitude for God, you just become more grateful. You tackle all on your days with a lot more gratitude, and you're just a lot more aware, spiritually aware of what you're, you're doing, the actions. You know that there's a higher purpose for whatever you are committed to. Having this, this framework that grounds you is just gonna make you a stronger man. It's gonna increase that masculine presence. Those are five masculine hobbies that are gonna make you a stronger male. It's gonna make you feel better in every way, mentally, spiritually, and physically. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. I'll catch all of you in the next video. Stay strong and keep on conquering. Peace.